about Harold Landry Jr. back on the practice field yesterday. That's a positive development, especially when uh, you've got one guy facing six games. Um, got to get off the ball, get after the quarterback, get that motorcycle pin going. Look, this guy, well, he's athletic. He, he's, he's able to, to tie his, his top to his bottom, which is extremely, extremely important. I mean, his, those 10 and a half sacks at the end of the year last yeah. year were, were, were pretty impressive. Coming back off of the, off of the ACL. He's got that God given talent. And I'm looking for a career year, like I've already said, man. I just can't wait for the season to start. But right now, I'm just focus on, like I said, stacking days, trying to improve each day. Every day is a competition, and as long as guys just keep taking it one day at a time, trying to stack days, get that improvement going, and we're going to see what happens. Um, I mean, it's training camp, obviously tough practices. Uh, you're going to have some good plays. You're going to have some stuff you got to correct. But all in all, I feel like we're doing a good job coming out here just trying to improve. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was frustrating getting sick and having to like focus to get my weight back and stuff like that, but it's all coming along fine, and I feel like I'm, I feel good and ready to rock. Will Levis out here, QB1, uh, number eight, out here doing team drills. Looks sharp, look good. The first offensive line unit doing really well today, protecting uh, in the run game. They're doing well. Uh, so the defense is chirping, but they're going to have to get af after it. But uh, Levis making all the throws. I think we've gotten just a lot of reps already against these guys, uh, not just the added practices, but being able to see how they're playing outside, the leverage that they're playing with, and how that can affect tops of the routes a little bit. Whereas before, you know, they might have tried a couple things that I wasn't really ready for. Whereas now we talked about it, you know, can be a little more sure about the location of the ball and uh, where they hit it. So you want to spread the ball around. You want to give guys love and show them that you have confidence in them and trust in them that you're going to be coming to them with the ball. Uh, it's also on our you know, play callers and everyone on the staff to script things for certain guys and getting it communicated to, to me or the quarterbacks will really try.